Uh, there has been this back and forth on, not a back and forth, the president of the United States has been going after Joe Scarborough of Morning Joe on uh, NBC, is it NBC or MSNBC? I don't know. Anyway, one of the NBC networks, uh, because Joe Scarborough and his wife, Mika Brzezinski, have been going after the president for a lot of the president's more um, uh, insensitive things and his, his leadership failures as those two see it. Anyway. So Trump has been in the past like 10 days, two weeks, going after Joe Scarborough over a tragic 20 year old incident in which a woman who worked with Scarborough had an undetected heart condition, passed out or fainted or collapsed in Scarborough's office, hit her head on the corner of Scarborough's desk and died. And the president of the United States has, and this is not an exaggeration, been not too obliquely accusing Joe Scarborough of murder on Twitter. Mm -hmm. And so this has been going on for a while. And today, Twitter came out and said this, we are deeply sorry about the pain these statements and the attention they are drawing are causing the family. We're working on things, blah, 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 so we can more effectively address things like this going forward. We hope to have those changes in place shortly. I think this is kind of amazing. The president of the United States who draws eyeballs to Twitter like nobody's business, yeah. is accusing somebody of murder and Twitter can't figure out what to do about it. Yeah. What? Yeah. Well, and yes, <laughs> there were similar questions. This is like a personally tragic attack. Um, there were similar questions late last week when the president threatened to withhold on when the president on Twitter threatened to withhold federal funding from states in which Democratic mm -hmm attorneys general were attempting to expand vote by mail and by some readings like facebook and twitter both have policies around election interference and false information mm -hmm. around election and elections and withholding federal funding because of expanding voting like that's real tricky legal mm -hmm. territory apparently <laughs> according to other people on twitter and twitter was just like i don't we don't know what to do i mean there is yeah. unquestionably and we've talked about it before a double standard when it comes to the president on twitter and i don't really know how you how you overcome you, that yeah do you do you have sympathy for the fix that jack dorsey the ceo of twitter finds himself in i mean look yes and no right it, much yeah. like facebook knowing that it is divisive but saying you know it would be paternalistic right. this is how people are we have to like let it roll it, sure twitter is in a position to say the president of the United States is a different case. And it is newsworthy if he is accusing people of murder or threatening to interfere in elections. Like mm -hmm. here's a real direct way for you to find out that that is happening. Uh, on the other hand, are they a private company who benefits mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. tremendously mm -hmm. from this? Sure, you know what else yeah. is? The New York Times, CBS. Like everybody is in a weird death spiral <laughs> with this guy right now and they're like I don't know yeah. what the solution starts to look like I don't either I don't either but because nobody's this, ever this acted one... like this before you know right. we have never right. had these mediums and nobody's right. no no president at least in our country has ever acted like this before using these mediums and so like I have sympathy for not really knowing what to do fair enough